today on the TMZ Podcast. Hello and welcome to the TMZ Podcast. I'm Charlie Cotton and joining me on the podcast today is love maker, newsbreaker, Devin Ra. Glad to be here. I'm glad you're back today. How are you feeling? Boy? Good. No, no. I was just, I was off for Easter. Oh, e- Easter was Sunday. Yesterday was Monday. Yeah, but you know, took Friday off. Then yesterday was like Cesar Chavez day or something. And so the, all the kids had it off. So, so my- was it Cesar Chavez or was it Easter? <laughs> I had you yesterday gotta, You got to get your excuse <laughs> to like, right. No, my, my kid had school off. Well, uh, so I had work off. So she had school off. Anyways, so let's get to up. the news. Hey, happy anniversary for yesterday, by the way. Thank you. Thank to you. To you and your lovely bride, Mel. Yes. Now expecting. Apparently it wasn't good enough, but. What? Oh, really? Yeah, apparently. Why would you have your wedding on April Fool's Day anyway? Uh, cheaper wedding venue. <laughs> 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 I, I think it just fell that way. I that makes sense. That, that makes sense. Okay. We're going to talk about the iHeart Music Awards show last night. Uh. Few stories coming out of it. A lot of celebrities trying to rebrand. Some of it working, some of it not. According to who you? Yeah, this is my uh, podcast. Okay, <laughs> yeah, everything's okay, according to okay, me. Okay, okay. Taylor Swift is officially a billionaire. That is according to Forbes. Kanye West took the kids out to Nobu, and they both left separately in separate cars. Huh? That's gonna be uh, that's gonna oh, be almost news. Oh, Kanye and Beyonce. Actually, I usually don't even tell you what almost news is. So just I mean, it's all pretty much almost. Forget news. what I just said. <laughs> almost news is a banger today. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. Can't wait. But to begin with, Angie Harmon. She's crazy an actress. Story. It's a crazy story. Angie Harmon's an actress from Law and Order, from Rizzoli and Isles. So Angie says that a delivery guy delivering Instacart groceries came to her house, dropped off the groceries. Then shot and killed her dog, Oliver, R.I.P. Really sad. Really sad. On Easter weekend, no less. I I know. I mean. And in front of her kids. She's saying that her and her family is completely traumatized, obviously. The kids were inside the house. Wasn't in front of them. I I believe that, I mean, their dog was shot on their Uh, doorstep. It's traumatizing. Exactly. So the delivery driver, who Angie says was... Uh, there was a photo of a woman on his profile and the name was Merle and it was a different person supposed to be delivering the shopping. That's a little Well, weird. anyway, this delivery driver shows up and apparently Oliver, who's a defense dog, you know, a, a a alleg- allegedly. What a- kind of dog is this, by the way? Looking at it, it does like a mutt sort of. Yeah, it doesn't look very big. It's not that big. It's kind of medium sized. Yeah. Uh, maybe like he had, the, Oliver attacked the delivery driver. That's kind of unclear. Yeah, then the delivery driver pulled out and fired a single defensive shot, killed the dog. Uh, Now Angie's very, very upset. Didn't get a chance to say goodbye. No. Um, You know. Family's traumatized. And, you know, what she's most upset about really is that obviously police were called. Yeah. Police investigated and essentially closed, case closed. The guy was let off. Um, the guy was claiming, the delivery driver was claiming self-defense, saying that when he went up to the door, the dog attacked him. I guess there's two dogs. So Oliver attacked him, which is why he shot Oliver. And this happened in North Carolina. So I don't know if, you know, I'm sure uh, the gun defense laws and stuff right. are a little different there than they are in California. But essentially cops are like, there's no, there was no crime committed and uh, everyone went their separate ways. So if a little yappy dog just nips at your heels, you can you're allowed to shoot him. I mean, I would say no. I mean, the 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 thing to me here is this Instacart driver is claiming this was self defense and he was attacked by the dog. Yeah, dude, it's a small dog, man. You didn't need to shoot it, right? Yeah, and Angie was saying that um the guy didn't have a scratch on him and his and his, Ex- pants, and his were pants, pants weren't ripped, so it was like how endangered did this guy? I guess if you're, I just feel like, okay, if it's a German shepherd or a big dog where it's coming at you and you don't know what's going to happen, I would say that there's a little gray area there for the Instacart driver. Size of the dog matters, dude. It's a pretty crazy thing to just carry a gun around with on delivery. But it's North Carolina, though. I know. We're not, it's not California. But just pull it out and shoot something. Like, that's like if your, your instinct, like, I mean, at the very least, can't you just like, you know. Give kick it a little it, kick. Kick it off. You would think you would think you would go to something before shooting, but I also do think like 
it's the South. Like things are a little different there than they are here. People carry guns. So that, that's just not how it is here. It's still crazy. Uh, and she, she, the other thing that, that, that's kind of interesting about this whole dilemma is, so she lives in like a really nice neighborhood right. and, um, and in like a beautiful home, but I don't think there's too many neighbors. And so her ring camera apparently was inside the house charging. So there's no footage of the incident actually happening. So it's a total he said, she said of like, you can't look at the footage and be like, dude, you really weren't in danger because there is no footage. Uh, wait a second. Ring doorbells need to be taken inside to charge? Apparently, she, she said in her post that her ring camera was inside charging. And she alleges, which I don't really understand this at all, that the driver or the Instacart delivery person somehow saw that there wasn't a ring camera or saw that it was charging inside and therefore knew it wasn't going to be filmed, which is why he shot the dog. Yeah. That's that a seems a little far-fetched. Right. I think that this is somewhere in the middle of where, okay, clearly the dog probably did charge this guy. I yeah. wouldn't imagine a, a random driver is just going to want wake up on Easter Sunday and be like, oh, I want to kill a dog today. You'd hope not. But I definitely do think it was like, there's a few steps you can take before you, I think you need to reach for your firearm and kill a poor family's dog. Oh, yeah, totally agree. Totally agree. And yeah, Angie put up, you know, a tribute to the dog. She also blasted the Instacart driver, like posted the, oh, I guess to your point, you were saying that the Instacart driver appeared to be using a different photo. That yeah, wasn't... She, she screenshotted like from the app, showed that her groceries had arrived. It was actually just one thing. You know What, what was it? It was just in a plastic bag. It wasn't like oh. a stack of groceries. It was just kind of like you want one thing and they'll bring it from like CVS. Yeah, or my wife does it all the time. Drives me nuts. Why? It's just so handy. But yeah. now, I mean, now, you'll have to give it a second thought now. Yeah, no. Well, yeah, seriously. But I know Instacart also responded and they, they basically said that they're suspending um, this delivery person and, and aiding in the investigation. But on that note, it's like, why are you suspending them? The cops said investigation closed. Right. So get, get back to work and you, hopefully they don't go up to any doors that have any dog. Any attack dogs? I mean, this dog was not very big. No, it was medium sized. Sad, sad story. It is. R.I.P. Oliver. On to our next story. The iHeart Music Awards were last night and it provided people an opportunity to do a little rebrand. So the biggest rebrand of the night is Jojo Siwa. Okay. Jojo Siwa wants us to forget that she was like rainbows and sprinkles and unicorn and Too that, bad. that that hair, like weird hair with she's, the bow, she's the big always, bow. She's always the bow girl. Forever. Well, she dressed last night in like, like a bodysuit with makeup and all, it was all black. No, she, she looked like a member of Kiss. Yeah, that's, that's actually a very good way to put it. That's exactly what she looked like. And she's got a song coming out soon called Karma because, and she said on the award show, oh, because Karma's a bitch, you know that, right? Oh, she cursed? Yeah, she oh, said the word bitch. I, I, how old is she now? Just like, she'll always be the same age to me, to be honest. She's always the bow girl. I'm sorry. It's one of those things where it's like when you're, I feel like it's like how Harry, Harry Potter will always be Harry Potter. Daniel Radcliffe. yeah. He's never going to be anything else, man. Probably not. You can you can put some edgy makeup on and tight pants, but you're a Harry Potter. <laughs> right, right. But Jojo Siwa, because she's so we're so used to her as that person, like, and because she leaned into it so hard, like she had that car and rolling the, around the, town with, oh, the, with her name on it. And, and it's like rainbow. <laughs> yeah. And just the YouTube over-the-top personality stuff is just like... I don't know. It's it's hard. It's hard to to ever get past that. I get why people in her position would be frustrated because it's like you grow up, you evolve. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Sorry. She posted a photo of herself on um Instagram, like having a threesome. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, with two other girls. Wait, are you sure? Yeah. Look it up. I, dude. Yes, she did. No, April I mean, Fools she, was she, yesterday. She was. Well, no, but she she's already come out, and she was kissing one of the girls, and then she had an, the other girl on her other arm. Oh, interesting. Okay. I didn't see that one. Another rebrand effort is from Katy Perry. Okay. Katy Perry doesn't want to be the American Idol judge anymore. She's made that very clear. Well, she's leaving the show. Right. And so since she's, left the, since she's announced she's leaving the show, 
she's been going out in like next to nothing, just fishnets. It is kind of interesting. Because before she announced she was leaving the show, we didn't really hear from her. She didn't like try to sex it up over the top. But now it's like, okay, Katie, we get it. You know, well, wasn't she the one with the whale tail? Like, at oh, the yes. other show? Yes, she had the G string. Yeah, the out. whale tail. And then I, so I saw this last night when I was laying in bed. So she was wearing like what, fishnets and like a bikini? Yeah. It's just kind of, I don't know, a little bizarre. She's just doing the it. most. You she, think, you, as you would say, doing too much. Yes. Do less. I, I actually love Katy Perry, though. But th that's kind of her thing, though. She always used to do kind of kooky outfits. Yeah, I, I like Katy Perry. She would Perry. have, like, the cape, uh, the, the cupcake bras <laughs> yeah, and yeah. all that stuff. All right. I don't know, man. I don't know. Beyonce, I think Beyonce's, you know, rebrand is working. She was wearing the cowboy stuff. She won the some big award last night. She went on stage, thank Stevie Wonder in the cowboy hat. Um, she's an innovator. The, she won the Innovator Award. So she was there in person. Taylor Swift didn't rock up, though. Yeah, I thought I had I had read something, those weirdos that tracked uh, Taylor's jet that she got back to L.A. yesterday. So I figured that it was her and Travis were going to be at the show, but they weren't there. I mean, she didn't have any tour dates on her. I don't know why she wouldn't have been there. It's, yeah, it's strange. I strange. Mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, Beyonce. I mean, Beyonce can can rock anything. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, she looks great in the cowboy style. Although, all right, is this a safe space? Please. Album sucks. Really? Album sucks. Is that is that? I haven't talked to anybody about it. Is that yeah, common consensus? I don't know. I no one will say it publicly, and the Beehive will probably come for me. But album terrible. Really? I thought it was. The, I, like, I listened the, to a few. The of couple it. singles that she released before were, are the best songs. What about the one the with, with Miley? Miley Cyrus is good. The rest of it. Trash. Really? Okay, I'm going to have to give it a second Hot listen. Hot take. I don't know enough to argue back. But let's get on to our next story. Because Taylor Swift is officially a billionaire. That is, according to Forbes. Uh, she, it's interesting. There's, there's apparently 14 celebrity billionaires. I'll listen to it for you. There's 14 celebrity billionaires, but she's the only musician who's made her billions off only her music and touring. The rest have made it through like brands and different ventures and owning things, but hers all to do with music. So she's 14th on the list now, 1.1 billion. That's it? That's it. Dick Wolf is 13. He did Law and oh, Order Dick. and FBI. Okay. Magic Johnson also made the list this year. He, he's 12th now. Magic Johnson owns a bunch of sports teams. Yeah. LeBron James, 11. 10, Tiger Woods. 9, Rihanna. 8, Tyler Perry. 7, Peter Jackson. Who did the um, Lord of the Rings and stuff? The director Are you Lord of the Rings. Those? No, not much. Me either. Six. Kim Kardashian. Okay. Jay Z is at fifth with two point five billion. Oprah Winfrey. Okay, two point eight. Michael Jordan. Three point two billion. Okay. Steven Spielberg is second place, four point eight billion. Devin, can you guess who the richest celebrity out there is at number one? Five point five billion. Uh, are you going to give me like, what's their genre or what? Like, is it no. an athlete or? No. All right. They're in, they're in film. Film. Hmm. Behind the camera. You just said Spielberg, didn't you? Number one is George Lucas. Oh, Star Wars. Star Wars. Those nerds. He sold, he sold in Star Wars to Disney for two. He stopped in 2012 I, for $4 that, billion. Dollars. I, I should have known that. Cash and stock. So there you but, go. But I mean, Taylor, I. I mean, I guess I'm kind of shocked she wasn't already a billionaire. I guess after this year, it's been insane. But it's yeah. like, of course she's doing it with like what we always talk about. She tours. She then films the tour and then plays it in movie theaters. She records an album, then re-records it, yeah. then puts out in a green vinyl. Yeah, and, they, yeah. and, they, and her fans eat all of it up. The strange thing is, though, she doesn't really have many products she sells. She's not like Rihanna who has, like, yeah, makeup. And, or, like, perfume and or anything. clothes and yeah, alcohol she lines. She doesn't need to. She re-records her Imagine if she albums. did, though. Imagine if she did have products. That way, I mean, stay tuned. Stay tuned. She's Because she's going to be skyrocketing up that way. <laughs> yeah, list. yeah. Watch out, George Lucas. <laughs> yeah. Okay, almost news time. Kanye West and Bianca Sensori, they went out to Nobu with the three youngest kids. Sam, Chicago, and Saint. Well, they all ate their lovely sushi dinner, and then they left in separate SUVs. The kids came out first. The mm -hmm. three tiny little kids 
and they like wandered confused into an SUV with like a babysitter, and then Kanye and Bianca just hopped into their own. You you act. You acting, you're acting, sorry, I can't even speak today. It's been a rough morning. You're acting like they literally called an Uber for themselves. They were with a security guard and their nanny. Don't you usually like, you know, go on, if you're a parent, you'd go in the same car as your kids, firstly. But if you're not, if you're sending them over to Kim's place, wouldn't you go and make sure they're buckled in, daddy loves you? Isn't, that, you... isn't that what you hire a nanny for? No, you're the, you're the main person. You're the main person. I think you buckle him in, give him a kiss on the cheek. You say, Dada loves you. I'll see you next weekend. I need some parenting advice because I don't see any issues with this. They, they have caregivers. All the paparazzi are out front going insane. Who knows? Maybe they said their goodbyes inside uh, yeah. a movie theater. and or maybe, Nobu. Nobu. Or, or Nobu. Nobu. Or maybe they are going back to the exact same house. So it's like, why would I say goodbye to you when I'm literally about to see you in 10 I guess. minutes? I, 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 but trust me, you were out yesterday. Uh, tr trust me, didn't go unnoticed. Uh, <laughs> but uh, all the parents were very upset about it. Right. This. What little kid likes sushi either? Oh, I loved sushi. As like that, a, that, as like a yeah, four year old? It was my favorite food. Raw fish as a four year old? I don't know. I, I had a very, like, it, uh, what's the word? Like You're an experienced palate? You have got an experience at a palate. young age? Yeah. You, I don't know if you that grew makes up. Well, you grew up well, I, I, wealthy. I feel, no, I don't, I wouldn't say wealthy. You're privileged. You're very privileged. I wouldn't privileged. say that. I would say I grew up in Southern California. Very privileged upbringing. Shout out to Deanna Rahl, who li listens to the podcast religiously. Because you send it to her and don't let her yeah. off the hook. Yeah, yes. I send it to all your family. Devin's on again today. Got to get that viewership up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for joining me today, Devin. Of course. It was a great time. And we'll speak to you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye.